Hey you guys, um, it has been a while since I've done one of these for you and if I remember correctly the last time I did one I said I was not going to wait so far out that way we didn't have a whole lot but um, it's been a while. <laughs> um, we've just been really busy. Um, we had a lot of snow days and I've just been really focused on like the holidays and stuff so I haven't been able to like stop and do any of these. Most of my videos I do, um, all the other videos I do that aren't what have I been warming videos, I do live on Facebook and then I just upload them here. So these are the only ones that are like pre-recorded so um, I just haven't done one so I'm sorry you guys. So it's going to be kind of long. I will try not to keep it long. Um, because, you know, I don't usually dwell on the scents that have been discontinued. I just kind of tell you I warmed them and move on. So that kind of speeds it up a little bit. But I did empty six clamshells. Yay! <laughs> so, um, anyways, um, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, we only have three more days left in January. That is crazy. And uh, I'm so tired. <laughs> Um, I had two kids that were sick in the last couple weeks and then I've been feeling just exhausted. Um, right now, if you are a Scentsy consultant, you know how it is because we are in the last three days of our um, trip incentive where we're trying to earn a seven day Mediterranean cruise. And at first I was like, that looks really awesome. I can never do it, you know. And I've pushed really hard and I've earned a lot of points. I've earned level one of our trip and I'm like this close to level two. But my goal, I set my goal really high and I just didn't do as well as I wanted to. So I've been really tired from trying to earn it. <laughs> um, I have a long ways to go. I don't think I'm going to make it in three days, but you never know. Miracles can happen, right? <laughs> so anyways, back to what we're doing here. I'm telling you what we've been warming. So you know I like to mix. So there's like a lot of bars because I do like to do a lot of mixing. Um, that's just me. I just like to experiment. Not everybody does that. Some people will um, warm the same scent throughout their whole house. Um, I have three warmers in my house. I have one in my living room, I have a mini warmer in my bathroom, and then I have a warmer in my kitchen. I would love to have more warmers, but we're kind of in a small house, and so I don't need that many more. Um, so anyways, getting to the video, uh, the first combination I did was I mixed um, sugar cookie and coconut lemongrass. And there's a glare, of course, there's always a glare on my videos. So sugar cookie is just a great mixer um, for just about anything. It is that it smells just like cookie dough basically and then coconut lemongrass if you like citrus smells or really clean smells this is really good um it kind of my husband says it smells like lemon pledge and you can kind of get a little hint of coconut um but you smell mostly the lemon so together it just smelled really good like a lemon cake or like a lemon cookie so coconut lemongrass and sugar cookie they're both current so try this combination out they're really good i really enjoyed it um next um i mixed together two scents um one is discontinued one is not so i mixed sugar cherry with blue grotto and sugar cherry is it's very cherry. It's almost like cough syrup cherry. I mean, it's not terrible. Um, a lot of people don't like it on its own. I'm okay with it because I really like cherry. Um, it's not as medicinal as some people say, like that cough syrup smell. Um, but then I mixed it with Blue Grotto, which is like that kind of has like a citrusy fruity scent um my husband says it smells like a jolly rancher so <laughs> together they worked really well um but like i said this was discontinued but blue grotto is current and it's pretty good i like it um hard to explain like i said it's almost like a like it's a very summery scent to me it's not really something that um people tend to warm this time of year or during the holidays and that's another thing i kind of warm just about anything now closer to the holidays i did try to focus on holiday scents because i really was trying to you know i mean i didn't have to try but i was trying to get in that christmas spirit in the house and so i think the scents kind of do that you know so sugar cherry and blue grotto um next i did and i'm looking at my cheat sheet if you see me looking down um these two now 
neither of these are current i don't think i don't think this was i know summer holiday is not um summer holiday is it was discontinued back in the fall when um back in august when our fall scents came out and i can't really explain it it's just like a fresh summery like summer air scent and then cotton candy cookie is exactly what it is it is cotton candy super sweet i don't think it's current i wish it was um Oh, because it's, it's so good. Um, so, Summer Holiday and Cotton Candy Cookie just made this like light, sweet scent. Don't really know how to explain it, but um, that's those two. Um, next, I warmed a Bring Back My Bar from back in June. I think is when we did it this year. Um, and this is Summer Sippin'. And to me, it smells like raspberry lemonade really good um like i said it's not really one you would gravitate towards this time of year but i just kind of warm anything so that was that um next i did another one that is not current and i can't remember if it's coming back this spring i will give you a few spoilers if you like um because <laughs> we do have a catalog change and we get a new catalog in march so um but this is summer holiday or summer sunshine excuse me um and to me this smells like it smells like suntan lotion like good though like i always like i'm a i'm a beach girl i was born in charleston south carolina so i've always loved the beach and i always love like that coconutty suntan lotion smell so i like this actually so this is very very like beachy suntan lotiony type smell so that's summer sunshine and like i said i can't remember if it's coming back in the spring but keep an eye out because i will be giving you a spring catalog um preview whenever those come out um next i warmed oh this one i had did three and i know three sounds like a lot but three cubes in a bigger warmer is not that much so I combined together Sunkissed Citrus, um, Blueberry Rush, and Vanilla Bean Buttercream, and they made a really, really good scent. Like, I don't know, it's hard to explain them, but they did really well together. Um, Sunkissed Citrus and Vanilla Bean Buttercream you can get. Blueberry Rush, however, is discontinued. And of course, it's that bright blue wax. Um, this is the only wax, too, and I don't know if any of you have noticed that, that when I touch it, like, it actually, and then you probably won't do it now. Well, it doesn't do it right now, but it's actually before, like, I've gotten a little bit of dye on my hands from it, but I've never experienced that with any other wax before. It's kind of weird. So anyways, very sweet blueberry smell, but it's discontinued. And then I, let's see. Um, the Sunkissed Citrus, very orangey, if you, if you like oranges, is so good, so refreshing. I love citrus. Um, this is great in our counter clean. I love this in our counter clean because it just gives your kitchen like that amazing citrus scent. So, and then um, Vanilla Bean Buttercream, of course, is another good mixer. You can basically mix it with anything and it it's good for toning down really strong scents, but the combination of the blueberry and the orange and the vanilla just was really good. So um, vanilla bean buttercream is exactly what it says. It's like a vanilla frosting. It when I, Every time I smell it, I want cake. So, so good. Um, next, I warmed another bring back my bar this is a, another bring back my bar from back in june and it is sunny and share and my only description of this is that it's just a really it's kind of like the name says sunny it's a sunny scent um it's kind of like on the fruitier side like a tiny like a fruity floral side so very springy um but it's not available of course because it was a bring back my bar um, next are two scents that you cannot get either. It is Sweet Amber and Freesia and Mariposa Lily. Now this was, I don't know if they were both new. I know Mariposa Lily was new last spring and it is really good. I am not a floral person at all, but there is something about this one I just love. And then of course Sweet Amber and Freesia. Um, I like this one too. I never realized how much I liked Freesia until I fell in love with Jamie Time and there's baby Freesia and Jamie Time, but 
and then of course I love anything with amber. So these two work well together. If you have them in your collection, then you should try the two of them together. Um, my next combination that I tried was, oh, it was another th um, three scented one. So two of them were new this fall and then the other one is just a favorite that everybody loves. So I mixed together sweet cream spice with gingerbread donut and toffee butter crunch. <laughs> yes, I know it sounds like a lot um, of sweet bakery scents and it is, but I love sweet bakery scents. So sweet cream spice, like I said, this one came out with this catalog um, as a, a brand new release and it is so good. Oh my goodness. Oh, let's see if I can describe it. It's almost like a a coffee creamer smell um vanilla and just oh it's so it's so good <laughs> i don't really know it's just like very sweet um almost like a nutty scent to it um oh, i could smell this one all day long and so then i mix you know with the gingerbread donut which is also one of my favorite new releases from this past catalog season and this oh my goodness if you like gingerbread stock up on this because I don't know if we're keeping it or not oh my goodness this is so good I love this gingerbread donut and then of course so many people love toffee butter crunch and this is in our um, cafe collection so it's part of those bakery scents that we carry um, you know it's it's kind of it's not discontinuing anytime soon um, but this is good mm. so when you take all these three bakery scents <laughs> It is really nice. So, um, next I warmed, let's see, a little disorganized because I have so many waters, but I warmed sweet cucumber, which is not current, with, let's see, I have another one, oh, with another um, discontinued scent, which is wild watermelon, and wild watermelon was from our kids' line. So it made kind of like a cucumber melon scent and sweet cucumber, um, like I said, discontinued is exactly what it is. It's a very light, refreshing cucumber scent. And then wild watermelon smells just like watermelon bubble gum to me. <laughs> so that together they, you know, if you love cucumber melon and you have these, you should try that. Um, next I did, let's see. And I tend to change out my scents every few days. Um, sometimes I forget and I'll leave them in there for a good week. And I don't change them out because they lose scent. I change them out just because, I guess because I stay home all the time. So sometimes I don't smell them as much. I know everybody else will smell them when they come in. But um, so yeah, I just, I like to change them out because I mean I have a lot of wax anyways. So I may as well. Um, so my next combination was sweet plum pastry and baked apple pie. Now sweet plum pastry, so many people love it, but it is discontinued, but it pairs perfectly with baked apple pie. So sweet plum pastry is exactly what it is. It is plum and you get that little hint of like the pastry crust in there and everything, but the baked apple pie, oh my goodness. Oh, it smells just like apple pie. Like it smells like you just took it out of the oven. It is great. And so the two of them together was amazing, but you can only get baked apple pie right now. So that's that combination. Um, Tahitian black orchid is one that I warmed and it is, it's retired also. Um, it's pretty good. I don't really know how to explain it. It's kind of like a, it's not a very heavy floral. It's a little floral, but just not too overpowering floral. So, but it's not available. So, <laughs> um, and then, oh, another one I did and I loved this one, but I can't find it. Okay. So one of the bars I don't have, maybe I used it up. Did I use it up? This might be one. Okay, I don't have it on me, but it's Thunderstorm, which I, I'm terrible. I don't even know if it's current, but I mixed it with Atlantic Air, and of course, Atlantic Air is so refreshing, so nice, 
such a beach air smell I love it so much um, it's one of those I recommend to just about anyone because um, sometimes you get these people that they don't like fruity they don't like bakery they just like clean and fresh and so I think the beach air scents like Atlantic air are perfect and then thunderstorm I just I didn't take it out <laughs> I kind of forgot <laughs> so but anyways, um, they did, I actually warmed it in my kitchen and it was really nice. Like it was just so refreshing to walk into the kitchen and smell that. So this is one of my empty ones. I'm so excited. I get excited when I empty them. So I have to empty them because we have new scents coming out in the spring. So, all right. So the next one I did is another bring back my bar from this past year and it's called Tingelo, ting, I think it's tin, Tingelo, I don't know. Anyways, it is not available because it was a Bring Back My Bar, but it's very citrusy and it's very good. It, it did really well. It was a great performer in our bathroom. Um, I don't know if it's because it was a smaller space or just because it's a really great performer, but it was really good. Um, next, I did, oh, I got to get this guy back again. Um another one that I emptied actually and let's see so another bakery overload kind of combination um, and all three of these are available if you want to try it um, but it was sugar cookie toffee butter crunch again and mocha doodle so we've talked about sugar cookie and toffee butter crunch so mocha doodle is like chocolate hot chocolate and coffee so if you think of it like that like a mocha um it's basically what it says a lot of people don't like they're not crazy about like chocolatey scents but this isn't like straight up chocolate so it's not weird like that but it's pretty good i like coffee scents if you like coffee ones you'll love this one um so my next combination was oh let's see Okay, so I did this one, which, like I said, blueberry, it was sugar cherry, blueberry rush, and vanilla bean buttercream, and of course, these two are discontinued, but, um, and we've already talked about all three of them, but it was great because it was kind of like a berry cobbler kind of thing, and it was really good. So if you happen to have these on hand, try it with the vanilla bean buttercream all together, and if you look, it's kind of cool. I, I find I get amused by this. It's like patriotic, which this isn't white, white, but I don't know. I like that. I love all things patriotic. So, <laughs> um, so I also warmed another bring up my bar from earlier this year, and this is vanilla walnut, and this is so good. Um, this is just it's just what it says: vanilla and walnut, and it's like so great. Oh, I love it. <laughs> so that's vanilla walnut, but it's not available. Um, and then this is when I really started getting into the Christmas season, you know, the cold Christmas spirit and everything. Um, I did a combination of Eskimo Kiss, which all of these you can get until um, the end of February. So um, all of these will retire at the end of February. So it was Eskimo Kiss silver bells and very merry cranberry and these are great these are great alone um but they're really good to um together too so silver bells and i don't have the scent categories but this one has like a almost like a minty vanilla scent to it and then eskimo kiss oh, i want to say it's like a almost like a berry scent and I don't really know what else is in it <laughs> I'm terrible at knowing my um, scent notes um, but it's really good I think it's like a some type of jam but um, oh my goodness it's just one that everybody really loves these are two favorites Eskimo Kiss and Silver Bells and then of course Very Merry Cranberry is just what it says um, it is cranberry <laughs> Um, and they just, all three of these, they just went well together. Very good holiday combination. So something to remember next um, year around the holidays. Um, my next one I did, I, 
I combined very snowy spruce and Christmas cottage and of course these you can still get right now too and I have never been one I mean I love the smell of a Christmas tree but I'm not one who usually gravitates towards any type of greenery smell when I'm warming in my home. Um, but this one I loved. And um, we also have iced pine. So a lot of people will ask what the difference is. Now iced pine to me almost has like a perfumey scent. Whereas I, I, this one is just, it's just straight up like spruce. <laughs> um, and I really love it. Um, I was surprised and I discovered I really liked it last excuse me last year before I became a consultant my my consultant that I joined under had given me a scent circle of this to hang on my Christmas tree because we have an artificial Christmas tree so and then I thought wow I really like that I was very surprised I've never been one to be like a, a greenery type scent person so that's very snowy spruce and then I mixed it with Christmas cottage which to me is like a cross between cinnamon and candy canes. That's kind of what I get out of it. Um, so these are like a perfect pair. So Christmas Cottage, a very snowy spruce. Remember that for next Christmas. And then I also warmed another one that I emptied, and this is Wassail Wonderland. And I, I know we had a whole, like one left, and I think this was the one we had left from our sense of the season, and this is actually the one I had purchased from my consultant last year, like I said, before I became a consultant, because it was a scent of the season for last year. Um, it was also a scent of the season for this year, and I know we had one left, but I don't, I don't think there are any of them are available now. I think they're all been moved, like, to, you know, they, I think they just took them off their website. Um, so... Beings, this was the last one. You could see it in clearance. I'm not sure. Um, so keep an eye out. Um, the best way to describe this um, is you get a greenery note in it, but then it also has like, it's like a citrus note. So basically, like when you, it's like a cider that you warm on. I mean, I guess that's what wassail is. Wassail? I don't even know how to say it right. <laughs> I think that's what it is. That's what you warm on the stove around Christmas time. But, um, and it smells just like it. So it is really good. Um, it's one that had to grow on me. Like last season, I was like, meh. meh. But I really loved it. So it's a great, <coughs> it's a great performer too. Um, it filled up my kitchen like it was amazing excuse me <laughs> so yeah that one's good if they bring it back next year pick some up um keep like i said keep an eye out in clearance it could show up in clearance i'm not sure but it was great um and then another one this is you can tell this one is super old <laughs> it is very retired this is watermelon mint and this is just one I had gotten I think I got it from another consultant um, like a trait like a swap group or something and I smell more watermelon than I do mint it's not a lot of mint that I smell I mean you get a hint of it but like I said I mean look at that label that is such an old label <laughs> so no longer available um, and then, okay, so this is like a really funky combination. <laughs> um, I'm sure you'll probably be like, what in the world? So, um, I mixed weathered leather with satin sheets and bonfire beach. Now satin sheets discontinued, um, at the end of our spring and summer catalog season. Um, it's one of those, um, it's very, it's kind of perfume like, um, but not too overly strong. So that is satin sheets. But then weather leather is exactly what it is. It smells like leather. <laughs> it smells like new car scent. Or actually, my daughter and I love walking in those leather coat stores <laughs> in the mall because we just love the smell of it. So this is what it's that's exactly what weather leather smells like. So you have leather and then you have this like perfumey scent. And then on top of that, you put bonfire beach which i love this to me 
well not to me because I don't know um, I have heard if you like marshmallow the marshmallow fireside candles from Bath and Body Works then you'll like Bonfire Beach is what I hear I don't know I've never tried the candle I know I smelled it but I don't know like I can't remember because I haven't used those things in so long so um, but to me it just smells like toasted marshmallows it's really good you get that little hint of like that um that like fiery smell like a um fire like a campfire and then the sweetness that is like the marshmallow it, it's really good like this is another one that i wasn't crazy about and then my mother-in-law warms this all the time in her house and every time i walk in i'm like i really do like that scent and then i got myself a bar and I just love it. So this actually worked really well together. You can't get satin sheets anymore. It is discontinued. Well, you can't get it right now. But spoiler alert, it will be available in the spring. So anyways, the three of these worked really well. It's just a great, like, I don't know. They balance themselves out really well to make a really good combination. So that was those. Um, another one I did... Um, white sands and lucky in love now white sands is discontinued um and i don't even know how to describe the scent <laughs> um and then we have lucky and love now this is another one of those it's one of those i've heard <laughs> um if you love um love spell from victoria's secret a lot of people say this lucky and love smells just like it and let me tell you um this is available in pretty much, well, not everything. This is available in our body line. And then since they're right here where I am, I'll show you. We have, oh, hang on just a second. And I've already done a video on this, but I just thought I would show you since I'm talking about Lucky in Love. Um, we have this great little bath bomb duo right here. It has Honeymoon Hideaway and Lucky in Love. It's only available for a limited time while supplies last, but look how cute it is. It comes all packaged perfectly. There's the to and from, and it's perfect for Valentine's. And Lucky in Love and Honeymoon Hideaway are amazing scents. Um, but yes, so get your hands on these, get to my website, grab these before they go away. Um, they are packaged together. If you try to tear them apart, they got a little like glue dot in the middle. So, you know, if you want to separate them, we do have single bath bombs, but not in these scents. So anyways, this is just, I mean, all ready to go. Look at that cute packaging. So anyways, that's beside the point. That has nothing to do with what I've been warming. <laughs> um, so anyways, back to Lucky and Love. Um, very nice, kind of a sweet, almost like a floral romantic scent, really good. Um, not overly floral, but like I said, if you're familiar with Love Spell from Victoria's Secret, um, from what I hear, this smells like it. I don't know, I've never tried it, so I don't know if that's one of those things where it's like, have I been hiding under a rock or what, but I just haven't tried it, so try this, though, this is amazing. Um, I love this scent. So just a few more. Um, I used up the rest of my whiteout <laughs> and whiteout was not available this year. This was from last year. So this is a bar that I've been, I've had and it was a very, very minty, like a peppermint smell. Um, but I did want to compare it to vanilla mint. Okay, so yes, this is more straight up minty. And vanilla mint has like that vanilla to it and if you're not if you haven't seen the video vanilla mint is the current scent of the month um, of course you only have a few more days to get it at 10% off but we have this along with that beautiful rose gold star dance warmer of ours so scroll through my videos and look for the January warmer and scent of the month and um, you can get you this for 10% off, but only this month in January. So white out, um, like I said, discontinued. I used the rest, but very, very, very minty. Um, very much like a, like a, a real, um, I don't know, just like a wintry peppermint scent. Um, 
and then of course I emptied white out making samples but I wanted I had them out and I was glad I did because I wanted to compare the two so this is so good too if you like vanilla and you like mint um, it's not like a butter mint so it's not like those candies it's just like a oh, it's just really good um, I really like this <laughs> um, so, oh, one more combination I did, and it's kind of a crazy weird combination again. Um, if I can find the bar, I laid the bar down. I took, this is, was a former scent of the month. It has my old consultant's information on it, on the bottom there. Anyways, I think it was like, oof, I can't even remember. It was sometime in 2016, I think. But um, it was before I was really, uh, it was when I bought Scentsy, but I wasn't like really, really getting into Scentsy. But this is called World Traveler. And this is a very, it's a very manly scent. <laughs> um, it's, you know, it's one of those more masculine scents. Um, and then I mixed it with baked apple pie. And it's currently going right now in my kitchen, I think. Yeah, because it's not in here. I have white out in the living room in here. But um, the combination of a bakery scent with a guy scent sounds kind of strange, but it works really well. So um, we don't really have a straight up dupe from this, but try mixing baked apple pie with something like Mystery Man um, or My Dear Watson, whichever one is current. I know, I don't think both of them are current. I'm not sure. But try mixing this with one of those mas more masculine scents like that. And it's actually kind of good. Like, I don't know. I don't know what makes the baked apple pie work with like a cologne scent, but <laughs> it kind of does. So that is all I have for bars. <laughs> That's all. That's all. Only like all those bars. Um, so anyways, um, I have some other things that aren't, um, that aren't bars. <laughs> um, I did take out, and I don't have it, I should have kept it just for this video. I did take out, um, an Amazon Rain car bar out of my car and replaced it with an apple butter frosting. And let me tell you, that Amazon Rain car bar was in my car for probably three months. And while the smell wasn't real strong anymore, I did get a whiff. Like every time I would get in the car, it was like a little hint of scent. It just took me a while to change it out because I just kept forgetting. Um, but I was amazed because, you know, they, they give us 30, you know, they tell us 30 days on car bars. And, you know, Scentsy a lot of times will last a lot longer than what they say. Um, and then some other things I have. Around Christmas time, I was using my Christmas Cottage um, pods. And, of course, if you are not familiar with Scentsy Go, I'm going to tell you about it, even though I tell you about it all the time. It is our portable um, scent system. It has lights, and you can turn it on. You can't hear the little fan running, but it is, and it's delivering scent. But um, I did use this. Like, I have a purse um, that, well... It's actually sitting right here. So I'll show you guys what I do. So I have this bag. <laughs> this is my Scentsy bag that I use as my purse. And so my Scentsy Go actually fits perfectly in the side pocket. Well, okay. So I go around like this and I keep my Scentsy Go on because people ask me about it all the time. So great way to kind of brand myself and advertise and everything. People stop me in the store all the time. So... <laughs> That's just a little thing I do. But um, so around Christmas time, of course, I wanted to keep with the season. Before Christmas, of course, I was straight up. I used pumpkin roll like all the time. And these are the ones. Since you go came out in September. And I started using these in September. And they still have smell. Like they give, they tell us that you can get 60 hours off each. Is it 60? No. 120 hours off of a pod. And I've gotten way more than that off my pod. So, um, no, I mean, I don't keep it running 24-7, but I use it a lot. And um, so pumpkin roll is what I was using. And then Christmas came around, you know, all December I used Christmas Cottage. And then now I wanted a scent that wasn't quite so holiday-ish. So I don't have the clamshell for it right now. But right now I'm using coconut lemongrass. And if you wanted to see, if you can see it, I don't know that you can. Um, there's little scent beads in here. 
it's hard to see. I'm using my laptop to record because I usually use my phone when I go live, but when I do these, I use my laptop. Um, so you can't see as well, but there's little tiny scent beads in here, and that's what makes it great because it's mess free. Um, I can go anywhere with this. So if you know anybody who needs portable scent or you want portable scent, it fits well in your cup holder. And like I said, I put it, in, I carry it around in my purse all the time. So that's what I um, have currently in here. Although I'm wanting to get some other scents to try in my Scentsy Go. Um, and then every single night <laughs> we take, this is my extra one. This is supposed to be the one that I give, I loan out. Um, which now I'm going to have to get another one to loan out because my six-year-old, this is pretty much his now. And every single night we use jammy time. And I love jammy time. If you love jammy time, this is wonderful. And I'm sure you've heard my story, but my six-year-old is on the autism spectrum and he has a very difficult time settling down to sleep at night. So, um, we, he knows now how to work the Scentsy Go and this lid is kind of weird <laughs> on this one. Um, so he knows that he can, he actually, instead of leaving it where the lights rotate, he knows to click until it turns green because green is his favorite color. And between the lights and the scent, the, it's a very calming scent because it has lavender in it. Um, this helps him settle down. And this has been amazing. And I know that that's not typical for everyone and it's not going to work for everyone like that. But um, if you have kids that have a hard time settling down, try it. Um, if you have a Scentsy Consultant local to you, um, see if you can borrow one. Um, if not, um, I wouldn't mind. I have one that I do. Um, I don't do it all the time, but I do loan it out in special situations, and I will ship it and let you keep it for a week and um, hang on to it. But really, it is one of the best investments I've ever made. Um, it's just been amazing. Um, I love it. <laughs> Um, and of course, not really warming, um, but it's something I've used. <laughs> I've used up, and these are new, but I don't have the boxes. I've used up a few Jammy Time bath bombs. They are great. I've used um, some, and then my six-year-old, he loves them. He calls it... Um, I think he calls it a bubble ball, <laughs> and and then he likes it because the water turns blue. Um, and then I used a Luna bath bomb. Luna's absolutely amazing. And then, of course, m one of my favorite scents since it came out, sea salt and avocado. So these are all great. Um, we actually have Sunkiss Citrus and Amazon Rain also. But if you haven't tried these bath bombs, you need to. They are wonderful. Um, they don't stay in your tub. Um, they are hand packed at our home office in Idaho. Um, so they're made in the USA. They have like seven different moisturizers in them, including aloe and shea butter and um, essential oils. So they're wonderful. They make your skin feel great, but you don't feel greasy. You just feel you have nice moisturized skin when you get out of the tub. And like I said, even though they turn the water colors, um, they don't stain your tub. I actually feel like my tub is a little cleaner when I get out. So, um, anyway, so that is everything I've been using in both home fragrance and non-home fragrance. So basically anything scentsy I've been using, um, aside from the fact that I use all my cleaning stuff and laundry stuff every day. So anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you like this and you like Scentsy videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel to make sure you don't miss out on anything. We have an extremely exciting spring and summer catalog coming out in March. Um, if you would like one of those, I have a link that I'm, I always link um, for my sample mailings and you can actually um, sign up using that form and then I will make sure you get a um, spring and summer catalog just make a note on it um, that you you're gonna want the new spring and summer catalog when it um, becomes available to send out um, also three more days three so I'm gonna upload this video as soon as I get done so you have until January 31st to get those bring back my bars um, 25 cents and I mean they did a great job this time I mean since he, our 
really it's you guys that choose so you chose some great scents this go around um double half price hostess rewards is still going on um if you want a link um, to try to get people to order in three days, go for it. I mean, it's not impossible. It only takes $200 to make a qualifying order for you to get double half price hostess rewards. So let me know ASAP and I'll get you set up real quick before the end of the month. Um, and like I said, for all of you who have shopped with me, for all of you who shared my videos and my um, my youtube channel or my facebook page thank you so much um i know all of you have been trying to get me on <laughs> our incentive trip but if, if it doesn't happen it doesn't happen but i am just so blessed because i'm able to use this business to support my family and i've met so many people and that's what's important to me aside from the fact that i can also do fundraisers for people and give back with my business that way so you know to me you know the trips are a bonus if i don't get them it is what it is but I get so much more from being a consultant. So if you would like to sign up to be a consultant, this is a great time with us getting into a new catalog. It's an amazing time to join because you can see all of the wonderful things that we're going to be releasing. And it's a great time to get some orders because everybody's going to be wanting that new stuff. So please message me if you would like more information or if you just want to go ahead and join my team. I would love to have you. Um, I do everything I can to train my team well. Um, I want them, you know, I get them to set goals and I do everything I can to help them achieve those goals. I do have a team member who in only like four or five months, she has just crushed every goal of hers and she did earn the cruise 100 percent paid for for her and somebody else and aside from that she is just doing so well with her business um and then the rest of my team is just doing amazing so thank you everybody for all your support um in the last year um i'm coming up on my one year with sensi on january 31st and it's been amazing and i love it so much like it is so much fun um I just, you know, it's great. And I love the product. So, I mean, that's a huge thing, too. So, I'm doing what I love with things that I love and meeting people that are just absolutely awesome. So, anyways, I am for real going to go. <laughs> and I will see you guys in another video soon. All right. Bye, guys.